Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. You won't believe this one. The hospital double charged me. Let's get started and talk about it. I want to also share with you guys how much my medical bills with broken bones and this lovely broken neck and neck brace have been costing us. Before I get into that though, I'm going to give you guys three tips. If you are in the hospital or have any medical bills, some tips and tricks that I have learned from my own personal experience. Always do your own research. And also I want to say that many of you guys have been giving me tips and tricks. So with all of that has been extremely helpful. One of the very first things that I was told is, Dawn, get a binder and keep all of your medical bills together. So that has been life-changing so thank you again for that fabulous tip number that's number one number two when you receive a bill many of them are not itemized you're not sure what you're paying for and call them back and get an itemized bill of what you're paying for I did that and I found out that many of them the insurance hadn't even kicked in yet if I would have just paid the bill I would have been overpaying that happened with the city of Garland with the ambulance. They sent me a bill and I was like, wait, this doesn't look like insurance has kicked in. I called the ambulance company. They were so kind and they turned it into my insurance. They sent me a revised bill, which was about one fourth the amount. So that's another thing is having the itemized bills. You see what insurance is covering, what your portion is. One of the things that did happen though, and it's good that I, I was aware of it, is I got double charged with the hospital bill. I called them and we got it all taken care of. And so, you know, sometimes things happen, you know, with coding and things like that. So that is why it is you have to keep a binder with all your medical bills and get itemized hospital bills so you know what you're paying for. Also, my last tip is call for clarification with any questions. Yes, sometimes you have to pay on hold or play, be placed on hold, but it is so important. And if it, I've been able to keep on top of this because I've been doing daily calls. Now, not right now because there's not any more bills coming in right this minute, but I've been staying on top of it. So because of that, we have had a handle on it and we don't have anything outstanding at this moment. So how much does everything cost? We do have health insurance. We're on a bronze HMO plan here in the United States. So it isn't the very best plan, but it does you know, cover quite a bit of a portion. Our hospital stay, just the hospital stay, was 7,400 after insurance paid for everything. Because I paid in full, they gave me a 20% discount. Then we've had all these other co-pays and medical bills coming in. So right now, we are at about $8,500, give or take, right around there. Now, one, uh, you guys already know this. They uh, Prepper Princess started a GoFundMe to help pay medical costs. And many people from the mystery shopping world, you know, because I've been scheduling mystery shopping 24 years, and many subscribers and channels have contributed, which I was just overwhelmed with the generosity and I appreciate that I took that money I put it all in the savings and anything medical that's what I use so I'm extremely extremely grateful for that so thank you so much but if any of you do have medical bills the main thing is is getting organized and don't be afraid to ask questions don't just go pay a bill do have do some research make some phone calls start making copies of things if you need to and you know if you need to make payment plans you can do all of that there's you don't have to rush and do everything just take it slow keep a notebook write down notes get information you know write down names of people you talk to dates times the more information you have the better i'll just say that so i just wanted to share all of this with you i hope these tips have helped if any of you have had hospital bills or medical bills and you have some tips and tricks for us especially if you're living in the united states leave them in the comments below but i'm gonna just end with saying this i am not an expert on this this is just an experience i recently have do your own research and ask people that are experts on this issue that's all i have to say for now i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you on tomorrow morning's video bye bye